Hi, Dr. Windish from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine again. Welcome to our video series for parents. Um, please remember that this series is not intended to replace visits to your physician. It is intended for educational purposes only. Now, we're happy to see you here in our office if we can in any way or shape or form be of help. Our office number is area code 775-359-7111, but please realize we, we really can't treat you over the telephone or over the internet. It's not good medical care and that's really not ethical. Today what we want to talk about is body mass index. What is it? Why do we care? How do we find it? What do we do with it? Body mass index is a measurement of a child's weight relative to their height, meaning how fat or how skinny is an individual. It can be calculated by a simple formula, and the simple formula is weight in kilograms divided by height in centimeters squared. What? I don't speak metrics. Let's put it another way. Take your weight in pounds, so how many pounds does your child weigh? Multiply that by 703. Divide that by what your child's height is in inches, and divide it by your child's height in inches again. So weight times 703 divided by height, we do that last step twice, because that would be height squared. This in general takes into account variability between skinny, between skinny normal and not so skinny normal but within the normal range. And then, then we take this data and we look at what normal body mass indices are for a given age for a child because the body mass index typically starts kind of high at about two years of age, dips down about four years of age, and then slowly starts to come back up and then plateau uh, somewhere around 16, 17 years of age and then stay at this plateau over the rest of your, your life because it shouldn't keep going up otherwise by, you know, 80 years of age, if it kept going up at the same rate, for normal, then we'd say it's acceptable by the time you're 80 to have a body mass index of, you know, 200. Uh, normal body mass indices range anywhere between 20 and between 18 and 20 on the skinny end when the kids are three to four years of age and 25 to 27 on the high end when the kids are 18, 19 years of age. Again, anything within that normal range as plotted out on the growth charts available from the Centers for Disease Control is considered normal. We don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. Where we worry are when the kids are either starting to cross percentiles and their body mass index is going up faster than they're growing old, or if they're substantially outside of the normal range. Because this really, really um, suggests obesity. Now, I hear a lot of arguments that body mass index doesn't take into account children who are large framed. The, the normal ranges do take into account somebody who's a large frame versus a, a slight frame. What they don't take into account are people who happen to have extraordinary muscle bulk. So when you're dealing with some of the 17, 18, 19 year olds who are elite athletes who have tremendous muscle bulk, the normal ranges start to break down a little bit. But those are your patients who are weightlifters, bodybuilders, and who are in exceptional physical shape. And quite honestly, you can tell when you walk into the room, or when a physician walks into a room, because these children don't have any fat on them, they're all muscle. So a perfect example would be my physical trainer, who as an adult, we say a body mass index of 30 or more is obese. My, my, personal, my personal trainer at the gym I work out with, a guy named Ryan, his body mass index, I, I don't know what it measures out to, it's gotta be about 34, 35. But Ryan's thighs are, or Ryan's arms are as big around as my thighs, and I can easily squat 400 pounds, which is a rather hefty amount to squat. Ryan, I think, squats something like 800 pounds for, for his workouts. And I've seen him leg press, I, I don't even have a clue, just obscene amounts of weight. And I watch him on uh, uh, butterflies with chest exercises and just moving 400 pounds of weight, and I'm moving, you know, 90. Uh, so his body mass index is huge. He's actually very skinny, but he's just this massive individual with 
huge amount of muscle bulk. The normal body mass indices don't hold true for him. For people like him, what you really need to look at is percent body fat, and there are ways to measure that. But when you're dealing with people who aren't bodybuilders, who aren't in exceptional physical shape with huge amounts of muscle bulk, realistically, the body mass index is a real good, quick, easy way to determine somebody's amount of, of fatness versus skinniness and, and to then begin to look at experiments. Uh, your doctor should be measuring your child's body mass index and plotting it on the percentile growth curve starting at two years of age at every well visit and really needs to be looking at this regularly because we're in the middle of a childhood obesity epidemic and we're dealing with significant consequences as a result of that. And This is how you're going to determine if you're having a problem. We define a child as overweight if their body mass index is greater than the 95th percentile, meaning if their height if their weight for their height, for their age, is more than 95 out of 100 normal kids, that's considered overweight. That's the definition is set forth by the Centers for Disease Control. That's not Dr. Windish's definition. And um, at that point, we need to start doing some interventions. That's the recommendation from the American Academy of Pediatrics. That's not my recommendation. I agree with it, but it's not my recommendation. I didn't write it out. I'm not taking credit for it simply forwarding it on to you guys, my audience. So I hope this has been somewhat educational for you. Uh, again, remember, it's your weight times 703, your weight in pounds, times 703 divided by your height in inches. Divide that again by your height in inches, and that's your body mass index. But to figure out your percentile, you need a growth curve. Uh, those can be found on the Internet, too, if you just... Google them, or you can go to the Centers for Disease Control and print them out if you want to see it for yourself. This is Dr. Kevin M. Windish. I hope this has been educational for you and helped to enlighten you and take some of the mystery out of what we're doing during your well visits. Uh, again, we can be reached for consultation here, area code 775-359-7111. We'll be happy to see you same day. We just can't help you over the phone or the internet. We'll talk to you next time.